Hey everyone, Gareth here from WeCycle. Going to have a quick look at the grit and flow and jump um, metrics on the new Garmin devices, uh, which are applicable when riding uh, with a mountain bike. These are going to be available on the 130 Plus, the Edge 530, Edge 830, Edge 1030 and the Edge 1030 Plus. Now you can see on my screen, I've got it set up with grit, 60 second grit, flow and 60 second flow. Now we'll start with grit. Grit looks at the overall difficulty of um, a mountain bike ride, taking into account the speed of the climb, speed of the descents, angles of turn all the way throughout the ride. Useful for comparing um, different runs, different routes, uh, and that can be shown on a map in Garmin Connect as well. Now the higher the difficulty level, the higher the score and grit. And Garmin suggests that uh, anything between 0 and 20 is going to be an easy ride, 20 to 40 is moderate, and a hard ride is going to be 40 and above. Now, uh, the 60 second grit gives you an indication of just the sort of 60 second section that you've gone over. Um, and green, there's a little white slider here, sorry, finger in the way, little white slider here, which will go along and indicate whereabouts you are within that uh, easy, moderate, or hard. Now onto flow. Flow uh, looks at how well you're holding your speed throughout the ride. Are you having to slam the brakes onto sharp corners uh, and then accelerate out of them, or are you managing to keep the flow all the way through your climbing, descending, um, and um, through the turns? Uh, flow is measured on the same scale. So 0 to 20 is going to be easy, 20 to 40 moderate, and 40 plus is going to be rough, meaning the higher the number, the more stop, start, accelerate, decelerate, sharp corners you're doing. The lower it is, you know, dead straight line, it's going to be 0. Again, I've got this set up with 60 seconds of flow uh, on the screen. And there's a little arrow that will pan across and show you whereabouts that six, 60 second segment is. Now let's have a look at the Connect app and see what information it gives you. So I'll open up my app. There's my little running man going and fetch my data for me. It's going to take a while because it's a while since I had any. And everything down low. Let's go to my last ride. Open that up. Here we are. So if we go to the data page, scroll all the way down to the bottom. The last feature is the MTB Dynamics, where we've got our grit, flow, and total jumps. I'll talk about jumps a bit later. But first of all, let's look at grit and flow. So I've got grit of 27, uh, which is medium, moderate on our scale, and flow of 4.3, really easy. Obviously, um, it was a very easy ride, and it, it was. Most of it was on the road, to be fair. If we then click on the uh, graphs function, we can go up and have a look at our flow graph. And we can zoom in by pinching and expanding. And we can pair the graph up with other things. So we could put on a heart rate or speed, elevation, respiration, cadence or grit onto the same graph. And then... Again, zoom in by pinching and expanding on the screen. And where those little grey circles with the bumps in, that's where I've done a jump. Oh, yes. Come a bit more on that later. So let's go back to the data screen. And at the bottom, the last one, total jumps. I've done three. And if I click on the little yellow circle with the wavy line, that brings up my jumps graph. Absolute hero section. Um... As you can see, I'm a pretty big deal when it comes to jumps. I managed to get three into the ride. Total hang time of 1.1 seconds and a total distance of 7.5 metres. Pathetic, I know. I like it when both of my wheels are on the ground. And to be honest, I don't spend much time on a mountain bike as it is. But it's a nice feature. It tells you the speed you were going for each jump. It gives you a score. I have no idea what that's based on, but I'm assuming it's distance and hang time in some way. And it ranks them. 
while you're out riding, when you've done a jump and it registers, it will tell you, great jump, give you a little pat on the back and say, here's your hang time, here's the distance and the speed. So a nice feature from Garmin, making it a little bit more fun out on the mountain bike. Thanks for watching. Please like and don't forget to subscribe for more content as we make it.